Hi everyone, it's Crystal. So today's video is going to be my uh, post-warm review of the uh, Scentsy Gorgeous Pumpkin, I guess, three pack of bars. Um, so I'll just jump into it. So uh, the three bars were Bright Cider Life, there was Pumpkin Chai, and Pumpkin Tiramisu. So I was really excited about this set. Um, I love fall, I love fall scents, and I especially love bakery. So, uh, the first one is called Bright Cider Life. You'll see here I went through the entire bar. I believe it was like a reddish brown wax. Um, so this one here is described as spiced harvest cider comes to life with luscious pumpkin and a slice of red apple. Wow, this one really surprised me. This is the one that I thought that I was going to like the least, and I ended up liking it um, probably one of the most. But just a um, heads up, I really liked all of them. <laughs> so this one here, um, I'll just sniff this again. This is so good. Like, I know it's described as a drink, but, like, I get bakery from this. I get, like, I always say, like, oh, this would make a good dessert, but this would make a good dessert. Like, I get bakery. Uh, it was, okay, there's a little bit of spice to it. Even though, like, it's, I know it says harvest, no, oh, spice, sorry, spice, the harvest cider. So it, there's a bit of spice, but it's not uh, in your face, way too strong. Like, if you like uh, winterberry apple tea, you know, that kind of level of spice. Um, so it's a light spice is what I would refer to it as. It was really good. It was super strong. It lasted well. It worked well in my uh, my open concept. Um, so I put it across my kitchen, my living room, and then in my girl's room, and I put it in my room. And it was awesome. It was so good. The whole house smelled of it. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like, I highly recommend this. If you like um, apple cherry strudel, like I know that's apple cherry. This is apple cider pumpkin. But if you like apple cherry strudel, I think you should give this a try. I feel like it, they're all along the same, I don't know, lines. I don't know. Hard to explain. But um, I don't know. If you like any pumpkin, any kind of apple scent, if you like Johnny Appleseed, give this a try. Like I said, it's not a dessert. It's not bakery necessarily. Like, I'm not sure what they're listing this, uh, what category, if it'd be fruity or like maybe even spice. I, I don't know. But if you like like winterberry apple tea, give this a try. I don't think you'd regret it. I really liked it. Uh, it totally surprised me. It was, like I said, super good. Worked well in the open concept area. Um... It was just really good. I feel like this one, okay, I feel like it could be in the catalog. I was going to say it could be in this year's catalog, but I feel like this one should, should be in next year's catalog. And I know sometimes they take scents that are popular and then they end up putting it in a future catalog. I think Bright Cider Life should be permanently in next year's fall winter catalog. Next would be the Pumpkin Chai. So this one here, I had tried it. Well, I just did like my, my first sniffs. This one is described as... Fill your cup with white pumpkin, a swirl of cinnamon, and a dash of chai. Now, I, I've i had like a, a vanilla chai latte before. I've had a, a pumpkin spice latte. I, I like my coffee. I love coffee. Um, not sh exactly sure what white pumpkin smells like compared to orange pumpkin. Like, I've never had my my face in, inside a, a white pumpkin. I make pumpkin pie every year, so I know what orange pumpkin smells like. You know, we do our, our um, the kids cut their pumpkins. Anyways. But white pumpkin, I'm not too sure. It says a swirl of cinnamon and a dash of chai. So uh, from that description, I would think a bit of spice, but not too much spice. Um, now, I remember saying that this smells really good on, on the one side, and then I flip it over, and I get like some kind of off-putting scent here and there, which I'm not sure what it was. But thank goodness, uh, upon melting, um, could not smell that at all. That whatever I, that was... That I didn't like. Now I just did the four across my open concept and again this is described as a drink but this smells like dessert. Like if you like pumpkin roll, if you like pumpkin cinnamon swirl, if you like I want to say any of those kind of pumpkin scents and bakery, give this a try. It was really good. It worked really good in my open concept. Let's see what other kind of notes I wrote. Um, yeah. It just basically really good, really strong, and it lasted really nice. 
and um it's one of those fall scents that like i said if you're not too uh you don't like really spicy things but you like a little bit of spice again this one was just mm, i to me like if you like the winter berry apple tea level of spice is what i want to compare it to same idea really good on cold i still get that that little off-putting scent here and there but thank goodness upon melting no but if i were to do it in a smaller room I, i'm still kind of wondering so i'm going to try that out but uh, uh in the open concept area again really good highly recommend that one um should it be in the catalog i could see it next year's catalog if it's popular enough um okay surprise surprise i could see all these in next year's catalog to be honest because pumpkin tiramisu um is like i feel like bright cider life was like number one favorite like i really really like all of these this would be like this one with the pumpkin tiramisu just behind that one and then pumpkin chai would be just behind that one if I were to kind of you know grade them but pumpkin tiramisu is described as uh, it says layer pumpkin with sweet brown sugar and vanilla cream for an autumn twist on a favorite Italian dessert and this smells like a dessert bakery just like the other two do but those are supposed to be drinks so Oh, this was so good. You smell the sweetness. You smell the pumpkin. You smell the, mm, the creaminess. It just smells very, very bakery, very fall bakery. Again, if you like like pumpkin roll, pumpkin cinnamon swirl, if you like pumpkin chai, like try it, try it. I, I don't think you'd be disappointed. I, I found it really good, really strong. Again, um, three, four, I had put this one. I'm trying to think here across my basement and in my son's room and I put it in I think yeah one two three in the basement and my son's room and I had one more cube oh I tried one cube in my room and it was really nice um I I know a lot of people do like the perfumey scents for their bedrooms every once in a while I like a, a bakery scent in my room um I don't know if that would be considered weird. Let me know if I'm not the only one who does bakery in the room because I, I enjoy that. Um, all right. So those are those three. Um, I don't know. I feel like I got nothing bad to say about any of them. The only bad thing is the pumpkin chai on cold sniff is there's this little off-putting scent that I get. But again, when I melt it, I don't get that. So super excited about all three. I highly recommend all three. I know they're coming. Um, there was a delay in the release. So they're being released September 8th. Um, 33 Canadian was it 33 Canadian? No. That was the soaps. I can't remember what the price was for the three. But anyways, there's a three pack. It's coming. You'll see it when it comes up for sale. Okay. It was empty. Anyways, highly recommend these. Hope they come back next year in the catalog permanently, personally. Let me know if you've uh, sniffed them, if you've tried them. Are you going to order them? Did you order them? Uh, let me know. Anyways, everyone have a great day wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.